All right, he's not he's not hitting me back. Dante. Dante. Oh, yo, 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 yo. All right. What what is what is your market sentiment right now? What is your sentiment analysis on the market right now? Within the past three or four or five days, including everything we're seeing, how do you personally feel about the market? Please express yourself. I feel like it's like uh, any other kind of market, really. Like, as soon as the prices go up, everybody, especially the millennials, they ready to sell if they got in early enough, which is why uh, I think Bitcoin went down so so many points in the past two days because everybody was going crazy. I actually recorded a video of this lady in the smoke shop. It's all the white, uh, white um, woman. She spent like $4,000 at the Bitcoin ATM when it was like at 38,000. So I wonder how she feel right now. So right now, I, I just think it's just like. How do you feel? How does your bags feel? How, how does your bags, what are your bags telling you right now? Should you have made my, some- my, my, bag, my bags are telling me to stick with DeFi and anything on the Ethereum blockchain, cause I don't know. It's just like a fad right now with the Bitcoin. So your portfolio is taking a hit, right? Am I correct? Yeah, it's taking a hit. All right. Charles. It's taking a hit. What do you feel about the market right now? Charles Bay. You're muted. You're muted. There okay. you go. Dante, mute. You mean as far as my portfolio? Yeah. I mean, just from what you've seen, just from the little time you've been invested in own Ethereum, what, what type of feelings and emotions, what, what are you experiencing? Please express yourself about uh your portfolio your investments your understanding so far of these markets i'm not really trading so i'm just doing the liquidity pools and the you know staking and, and, the, um, and lending so for me i'm just watching and i'm watching you know how other people are responding to it um so yeah I, i'm not in the trading aspect of it so i'm just watching it did did your bags go up they did what was the feeling of your bags going up did you um, it felt good. Just it, it felt good because I'm I've been trading stocks, and um, it just I, I I like the fact that I'm not worried about uh, um, just purely trying to make up money off speculation. So um, I just feel good like I made a good decision because I'm making money off the fees and I'm making money off the appreciation. So for me, I, I like that balanced feeling of not just being uh, tied to the speculation movement. All right, all right, I respect that. Mm -hmm. um, who else do we have in the chat? Who, uh, Deirdrick, Deirdrick, how are your bags feeling right now? Who else, is he there? Crypto Foundation? Uh, yeah, it's me. How are your bags feeling? Yeah, man. Nah, bags feeling good, man. I mean, you know, it did take a little little hit, uh, you know, with, with the market doing a little correction, but for the most part, I'm excited about where we are in the market. I think it's a buying opportunity. Okay. Okay. Now, what would you say to a retail investor who bought Bitcoin at $41,000? What would you tell them right now? We're going to start slowly start getting into the how to be a crypto mentor too. We're going to hit on all types of levels. I got many, many. What would you tell the investor who bought in at the top? Wait, hold on. Why, what, why would they wait and hold on? Because to them, they look like it's probably just going to go down some more. Yeah, I, I know. But again, as, as we know, in crypto, it's going to come back around. I mean, as, as more mass adoption takes place, more people get involved, it's going to go back up and even go beyond that, just like it did when it was hovering around the 17, you know, under 20 grand. Okay. If I were a retail investor, that wouldn't personally instill that much faith in me. What would still in more faith in me is, hey, there's only 21 million Bitcoin. Even though you bought at the top, it is actually not really a top because we still are in a bull run. The trend is still bullish. Now, out of all that 21 million, whatever you purchased, you that will not get diluted. What is diluted? You Your Bitcoin will not be inflated out. You have a portion of that 21 million, no matter what price you bought it at. And as long as we continue in a bull trend, the longer you hold on, the more likely, no guarantees, the more likely 
you're going to see a return on your investment on the positive side, like on the, on the positive. That's what I would tell a new investor. And hopefully they would be like, wow, even though I only bought at the, whatever, I'm, I still have my portion of the total amount and it will not get diluted. Maybe I should hold on to this longer since the whole trend of the market is in a bull trend. You get where I'm coming from? Oh, yeah, most definitely. Yeah, you want to let them know, like, the value use case of what you just bought, even though the price is going down. You want to stress that, that you own a portion of that whole pie, and that and that portion cannot be diluted. That would that would instill more faith in me, even though the price went down 20 or 30%. Does that all make sense, you guys? Yeah, it does. So not, not all currencies have a hard cap. So sometimes we do have to, like e e Ethereum would take more explaining why uh, more probably to more convincing because Ethereum does not have a hard cap. For those who do not know, Ethereum has a two, uh, two ether inflation rate every 15 seconds. Every 15 seconds, a new block is mined on the Ethereum blockchain. You guys want to write all this down. The block reward the block reward is two Ethereum, two Ether, okay? Crypto Koki.